Hello guys and today I'm going to eat some Jummy Dodger biscuits. Now I've got different flavours here. So I have chocolate, I've got blueberry, I've got a normal jam one. And I've also got banana. Let's go bananas, okay? Now, this is what I am used to, okay? I've had the red one on and off in various forms a lot of my life. Um, I don't have it every week, perhaps two or three times a year, to be honest, in the past. Often these things like this would appear, or something very similar would appear in, um, you know, Christmas biscuit tins, essentially, okay? But they'd have a circle on instead. And this particular version has a heart. So I'm going to show you first the, I'm going to open all of them and eat from all of them, okay? Now this is the standard red one, okay? This is just to show you what the normal standard one is like, okay? Open it up. I'm going to take a red one out. Now, this is the standard one. It's got a red heart in the middle. And this is basically um, raspberry jam. So it says raspberry, so it's raspberry jam. Okay? And this is why we call it a jammy dodger. Because essentially, um, it's two biscuits with, essentially, a lot of um, two Mexican biscuits sliced, joined together with jam in the middle. Okay? Now, this is what I'm used to, okay? In various forms, okay? Now, if you look, you'll see there's a layer of jam even on the back. And I wouldn't normally do this, but if I try and do it for me, you can see. Underneath that is a layer of jam. So there's a layer of jam underneath all of the biscuit, okay? And this is the back. So that's what you saw. That's the back of it. So that isn't the heart because If you look carefully, that was the part of the heart that you saw originally, and that's the back. Now, I'll peel some bit back just to show you it's got jam going all the way through, okay? Now, you can see a few pieces of a few biscuits that put together to make one biscuit, okay? Not a typical jam and dodger, okay? And yes, you can taste the raspberry, it's quite sweet. And now it's quite normal over here, okay? I'm going to have one of each, okay? Now, okay, this sort of jam version is practically everywhere, it's very easy to find here, okay? You can get it in local shops, I believe, you can get it in supermarkets, very easy to find, okay? Next one. is a chocolate one and again I've only seen this in more recent years new flavors I've only seen more recently I did do a bit I believe I did a video on this I believe I did a video especially on chocolate dodgers okay but I didn't have the banana or the blueberry then and I'm gonna open it up And take out a chocolate one you can see it's dark in the middle 
it looks like it's a dark chocolate but I'm not sure if it's dark or milk chocolate to be honest I can't remember after all this time um, It looks like a dark chocolate. I could be wrong, but it looks like a darker chocolate. So, it doesn't say if it's light or dark chocolate, but. I think it tastes more like a darker chocolate to me, right? I'm probably wrong because I'm probably really stupid, but there you go. Now, all of these are in date, by the way. All of these are totally well within date. All of them, okay? And the damn one expires on November, November, and I think the others are all, oh, two of them, are January, so that's a January, January next year. Um, this one's also January next year, which I'm eating now. Um, well, I pull out. And the other one is February next year. So, okay, now. I'll be honest, I don't think it's the best chocolate, but there you go. I've had it before, so I'm surprised I'm puzzled now as I've had it before. But my views may have changed, and my review of this may be totally different to the review I gave in the past, okay? Not for some one, and not some. A chocolate one. Now, I'm going to try a blueberry flavoured one, okay? Okay, so now. Hmm, this one's broken, unfortunately. One was broken, so. It's broken rather badly and weirdly, actually, but never mind. It shows you what's inside, though. It's clearly failed the quality control, somehow. Anyway, it does show you what they're like inside, okay? So I'll get a proper one out, okay? That isn't broken in any way. And here you'll notice it's, a color, it's blue, that's not a mistake, it's a bluish colour. It is a, it's got blue packaging, it says it's blueberry. As I said, this is, I've never, by the way, until very, very recently, I've never seen anything like this before, ever. I've never seen this when I was growing up, I've only ever seen it once, and to be honest, I've not looked for it since, but I think I've only ever seen this once. But to be fair, I don't think I've ever looked for it since, okay? Because I got these because I was so surprised. That they had these flavours, I just had to get them because I've never seen this order banana before. I saw it once and then I got them and then I just hadn't got around to trying them, okay, until now, okay. Now, so far, the blueberry seems to have the most obvious flavour to it and it seems to be the most pronounced flavour. Um, 
I'm actually surprised that this has got the most flavour to be honest but um most of it's the best but now I'm used to the you know the raspberry red jam one but you know between obviously blue jam In fact, the nice thing I thought it would be, um, I've not had, you know, blueberry before. I know there's a song called Blueberry Hell by Fats Domino, okay? Obviously, references um, blueberries, okay, but you know, it's just. Okay, so best not false, okay, giving it a strange flavour, okay. And the last one is the banana. I'm fine. Okay. Oh, so I just noticed this, by the way. Mm. On each of them, it's got a little, um, on all of them, it's got a, the letters JG embedded into the biscuit it's also got this little shape where it's got these little lines at the top i think it's got them on all of them oh wait a minute they seem to have different shapes so that's that's the shape on the banana one interesting um do they all have the same Yep, this is the shape on the um, chocolate one, so you can compare the different. So we've got different patterns look. And on the blueberry one, what have I got so far? I've got them on the blueberry one so i didn't i don't think i didn't this wasn't something i was actually looking for to be totally honest with you because i didn't think about well they have a different pattern on them um yeah the pattern wait a minute the pattern on the um blueberry and the chocolate is the same You can see the colour slightly different if you look carefully. But they seem to have the same pattern on them. And if I look at the original, yeah, the original Jammy Dodger has got the same pattern as well. So it looks like they're copied. Um, if I can do this somehow, it looks like they've copied the same pattern. It looks the same. So yeah, you can see it's all the same pattern pretty much, right? But for the banana one, they put a tell a different pattern, like I said. Strange, but true. So right, okay. I'm now going to eat um, the banana one now. So again, it's all the same. It's got banana flavoured jam in the middle. And I'm going to try banana, okay? I can't I taste a lot of banana, but it's starting to come 
Yeah, it might be because I've eaten other ones earlier and they may have like destroyed my taste buds, but Mm. I think it's a bit on the sickly side, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure it's quite as good as a real banana, truthfully, but... Right, it's starting to come through now. Not sure if I'm a massive fan to be honest, but well, I come close to some sort of banana flavour, but I don't think it tastes as nice as I thought it would too. It might be because I've just ruined it with all the other flavours, and maybe I've had too many different flavours, and that was just the last straw for it. Um, I'm just going to go for a minute, I'm going back to the blueberry, but the poverty blueberry, you can see this isn't just, it, it wasn't even, it's just broken in the packet, this one. It was generally mangled during the manufacturing process. I can't even easily slide it, look, so I can't very easily slide it, so it's not something that just got shook up inside the packet, it's my thought it's okay I could probably send this back to the main pack and got a fortune but never mind like another couple of packets but I can't be bothered for once um so I'm just gonna try this I think I've probably had too many different flavours and my taste buds just can't deal with it, to be honest. But um No, because even this is starting to be a bit more sickly now. I don't know. I originally like this, so I think I've had too many different flavours, but Nonetheless, I have shown you guys that they exist, okay? Because I've never seen anything like this before. Not a banana one. Nor a blueberry one. And until recent years, I haven't seen chocolate one either until very recent years, and as I said, it's kind of jammy dodger. I've known that since I was born, well, you know, as far, time, as far as I can ever remember, you know. I've been out for years and years and years, the normal jam one, okay? So, there you go guys, different flavoured jam do jammy dodgers. Um, I'm not aware of any other flavours, I've tried, I can't find any others, maybe there are some and I've missed them, but those are the only flavours of Jammy Dodgers that I could find, okay, and I thought I'd do a video for you guys because, um, I just thought the bananas and the blueberry flavour were quite surprising, okay, so, I'm going to say bye now guys, so, And on the back of all of them, they've got this sort of crisscrossy pattern, sort of. All of them look the same. Okay. And they are made by... Broken Biscuits. And on, on each of them it talks about artificial stuff. I don't know if it's got it or not. And they say, I'm no reason to doubt they'll be, think they'll be different than any of them. I think they're all going to say this, so I'm just going to get one of them because I'm sure they all say the same. Oh, that's interesting. Um,
No artificial colors, no artificial flavors, no sweeteners, no. Now this is where it's really interesting. On the banana one, we missed a couple of these off. Really interesting. Because on here, on the standard jam version, we've got artificial colours, no. Artificial flavours, no. Artificial sweeteners, no. Now this is the interesting bit. GM ingredients, never. That's not on the um, banana one. Hydrogenated fats. Nada. Vegan friendly? Yes. Now, if I show you the banana one, and I'm afraid I've accidentally torn some of it, so... This might be difficult to show actually because I've accidentally torn some of it, but I might have to take my word for this I'm afraid, but artificial colours, nope. Artificial flavours, nope. Artificial sweeteners. No. Nah. Suitable for vegans. And it's got some like yeah, right? So it got one, two, three, four points. Four points, one, two, five points. And the other one has got one, two, three, it's got six. So, wait a minute, what have they done? I've done artificial colours, artificial flavours, artificial sweeteners. Oh, that's just four, sorry, it's just the way I cut it, so. Yeah, it's just four lines. So, basically, what they've done. Is this probably contain may contain um, GM ingredients and it may contain hydrogenated fats, but they by not saying it, we don't know on this one. On the other one, the blueberry one, the blueberry one has got the same six as the jammy as the jam version, and the. Um, so the chocolate one has also got the six. And the chocolate one's got the six as well. That's the chocolate one, as you can tell. As I said, and again, this is the thing that it, it's, it's blue and red. So there you go, guys. So that's rather sneaky marketing, if you want my opinion. Because on some of them, they're bragging about the fact that it doesn't have something. And on the other... They just hope you won't bother checking. You will just look at all the no's, right? And not look at any, and not notice that on some it has got no's, and on some they haven't mentioned those for a couple of them. So that's rather sneaky, I think. Okay, and I've only just spotted that, to be honest. So, okay. Anyway, guys, um, what else is that? Uh, um, on this kind of thing. I'm just going to go to the main jam one for now, just for any other packaging stuff. Um, again, it shows you how healthy it is, but they haven't used a traffic light system, so this is just black and white. O often on some companies use a traffic light system where they use different colours to indicate how good or bad it is for you in terms of your health. Obviously, I don't mean like they've made it badly. I don't mean that, but you know, like for how fat it is and things like that, okay? Um... And again, they just say store in a cold, dry place away from strong light and covered radars and covered radars. So that's a joke by them, okay? So it says store in a cold, dry place away from strong light. That's fine. They say and covered radars. That's a joke. Once open, store in an air type container. I have one here. This is what's actually had chocolates in the original, but it's going to have other things. Um, and then just a blurb about what happens if it's all wrong. And they've got loads of ingredients. Sometimes I have listed ingredients, but because there's so many different flavours, I'm not going to bother. I'll just give you nutrition information on here. And they've said things like um, 
you can recycle the tray so the tray is like um, I'll show it in a minute it's like this piece of cardboard so I've got this like piece of cardboard you can see the cardboard here look so you can I'm not going to pull it all over because otherwise it'll go everywhere but that's the tray so when you finish you can put this into the recycle bin and recycle that but they're saying don't recycle this okay um, however I recycle it anyway at the supermarket because the supermarket got a special way of recycling things that normally you can't recycle okay and I'm not joking I take them into the supermarket to be um, thrown away I use the supermarket as a bin officially with their with their blessing believe it or not um, and it's also got a marker saying suitable for vegetarians and suitable for vegans and so it's got the that one is the vegetarian one that one is the um, that one's the vegan one and that one's the vegetarian uh, mark this is just the white Gummy treats anytime, anywhere. Uh, so there you go, guys. I think I've um, spent far too long eating four biscuits, to be totally honest with you. So there you go. Oh, well, just over four biscuits, maybe one extra, I can't remember. Anyway, guys, so there you go. Um, different flavoured gummy dodgers. Thanks for watching. Bye.